everywhere. In stand up, ground game, my judo game, my wrestling, everything, my conditioning. Like they are amazing. And they they like make me like so uh, confident and I walk it that night and they show everybody I'm the best. Nice, nice punch. Yes, she felt that, right? Okay. Listen, you keep training like that, and no one will catch you. Yeah, that's work on that box again. Love it.
seconds left. Passed away. It's a women's bantamweight title fight between Amanda Nunes and Jermaine Durandamy. All right, here's the number one women's bantamweight contender. She believes for a while she's been the best at 135 pounds. She's making the walk tonight, staring down the champion. Confidence, not an issue. Fear, not a factor. We'll see if this talented number one contender can shed that label and leave with a new one as the UFC women's bantamweight champion. Well, this belt has changed hands quite a bit, but not since it's been held down by this young woman, the reigning defending. Undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World. She has really set the standard for excellence at 135 pounds. Tonight, though, facing a number one contender that comes in with a lot of momentum. So if she can defend the belt yet again here tonight, it would really go a long way in stamping her legacy as one of the greatest Bantamweight fighters and champions of all time. Our tale of the tape for this women's bantamweight championship fight. Nunez is 36. Dorandamy is 40. She will have a two-inch reach advantage. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now! This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Championship of the world. It's fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a Muay Thai kickboxer, only a professional record of 14 wins, five losses. She stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Utrecht, the Netherlands, presenting the challenger, Jermaine, the Iron Lady, Dirandami. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 11 wins, no losses. She stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Pilarda, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World. Amanda the Lioness Nunes!
hired you for the championship. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. The fighters touch gloves. You ready to fight? You ready. All right, so round one is underway. After her last fight, you heard Bruce Buffer say, and still, UFC women's bantamweight champion. She is trying to have him say it again here tonight. She is unquestionable. The number one 135-pound fighter in the world. She has successfully defended this belt in the past, and she believes here tonight she's on a different level than the number one contender. We'll see if she can prove it here and turn those words into actions as round one gets underway. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It, it's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she spent a lifetime developing the skill with the way that she's able to move with so little effort on the mat. Well, you got to stay busy from the bottom position. Can't falter here. She's doing a nice job. Ground and pound is on point here. She's made this a focus going in to make these strikes count. Certainly doing that tonight. She's making each and every one of them count. A very, very good job of landing shots, landing them in combination, and making them all match. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Nunes. Wow, there is just a viciousness with which she operates here on the ground as she continues to get the ground and pound game going. She might get a finish here. She's looking for a finish. She's so good at dictating these ground stages that she's doing a fantastic job of building posture to try to land that kill shot to the top. Got clip with the right hand. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. How good is her movement here on the ground, right? Shades of Ray Borg just transitioning so beautifully. Yeah, she's so good at transitions and movement. Her ability is unmatched. Good ground and pound by her here. She felt like she could finish the fight with her ground strikes tonight and might be well on her way here. I mean, John, I believe it after watching the ground and pound that she's landing in this part of And that's gonna do it! And that'll do it! Oh my goodness! What a performance! That was a good stoppage by the referee. She was not effectively defending herself and the opponent was doing some real damage. It became a dangerous situation. I think it's the right call by the official, and she will live to fight another day. The official decision is inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 23 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Amanda the Lioness And still the hunted at 135 pounds. How good is this women's bantamweight champion and who's gonna beat her? I mean, I don't know. John, it's gonna be very difficult for someone to put together a game plan to get the belt off of this woman. She is a beast of a fighter and it's gonna take a giant effort to try to beat her.
is a women's bantamweight championship fight between Amanda Nunes and Betch Cohea. Well, this is a belt that has changed hands quite a bit, and this number one Bantamweight contender believes it will again here tonight as she makes the walk for this title fight. She believes this title shot should have come earlier. She's not caught up in all that now, hasn't been during fight week. She's focused on the champion, and you see her staring her down right now. Crowd going crazy. She believes she is the best Bantamweight in the world and believes in a matter of moments here, she will be the new champion. Well, this belt has changed hands quite a bit, but not since it's been held down by this young woman, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC women's bantamweight champion of the world. She has really set the standard for excellence at 135 pounds. Tonight, though, facing a number one contender that comes in with a lot of momentum. So if she can defend the belt yet again here tonight, it would really go a long way in stamping her legacy as one of the greatest bantamweight fighters and champions of all time. Or till the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Nunez is 36. Cohea is 41. Nunez will have a five-inch reach advantage. And now to get us started, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Our round for the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the new corner. This woman is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 14 wins, seven losses, and one draw. She stands five feet, five inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Campina Grande, Parima, Brazil. Introducing the challenger, Bet Pitbull Correa. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 12 wins, no losses. She stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC women's bantamweight champion of the UFC world. Belt. They touch him up and we are underway. All right, so round one is underway. After her last fight, you heard Bruce Buffer say, and still UFC women's bantamweight champion. She is trying to have him say it again here tonight. She is unquestionably the number one 135-pound fighter in the world. Oh, big knee! She's made this a focus going in to make these strikes count. So we're doing that tonight. She's making each and every one of them count. Doing a very, very good job of landing shots, landing them in combination, and making them all matter. Elbows. Oh! Man! Man, she has found her groove on the feet tonight and really going to that elbow repeatedly. She's doing it over and over again, and it's because her opponent has not made her change anything up. Nice. 
Nice. Oh, that's a beautiful escape and reversal by her there. Unbelievable sweep. She did a fantastic job of manipulating the weight to change the position. Oh, that's a nice job by her there to reverse the position on the ground. She was in trouble. Now she is the one handing out the punishment. Great change of position very quickly. Going for that patented rear naked choke now. Now it's starting to slip under the neck. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Oh, no! And there it is! Wow! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Well, no doubt it was quick, and you knew if she could take this fight to the ground that her opponent was going to be in trouble. So the takedown comes early, and so does the submission win. You know she's got great instincts when it comes to finishing fights. Once she gets them to the canvas, safe to say mission accomplished for her here too. All right, let's check out some of the action in that previous round. DC, she certainly kept the stat trackers busy with all those takedowns. All those takedowns and some really nice takedowns. She did a great job of level changing, getting into her opponent, not allowing her opponent to defend before she can secure her takedown. So there she is as the celebration continues in the corner. The queen of the 135ers, the UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion, your winner tonight by way of submission. What a way to get the job done and leave with the UFC goal. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine's called a stop to this contest at 1 minute 43 seconds in the very first round. For the winner, by submission, and still the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Champion of the World, Amanda Lioness of the Ring, Newton. So after an emphatic submission win here tonight, she remains the UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion. A lot of people thought this was a qualified, credentialed number one contender, and she was, but she proved no match for the champion here tonight, and the celebration is on. Hard to blame them after this result here tonight. Congratulations to the and still UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World.
It's starting to fall apart, alright? Stay busy, stay busy. Bantamweight contender. She believes for a while she's been the best at 135 pounds. She's making the walk tonight, staring down the champion. Confidence, not an issue. Fear, not a factor. We'll see if this talented number one contender can shed that label and leave with a new one as the UFC women's bantamweight champion. Well, this belt has changed hands quite a bit, but not since it's been held down by this young woman, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World. She has really set the standard for excellence at 135 pounds. Tonight, though, facing a number one contender that comes in with a lot of momentum. So if she can defend the belt yet again here tonight, it would really go a long way in stamping her legacy as one of the greatest Bantamweight fighters and champions of all time. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So two years, the gap in age, some differences in height and reach as well. All right, we send it back inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Championship of world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 14 wins, 8 losses. She stands 6 feet tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Kansas City, Missouri, USA, presenting the challenger, Mika Anderson. And now, introducing the champion, Fighting out of the red corner! This woman is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 13 wins, no losses. She stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, presenting the reigning, defending, and the 
undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch gloves and we are underweight. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go with round one of this UFC Women's Bantamweight Championship fight. This is the fight that fans really wanted to see. The consensus top two 135ers in the world. The champion doesn't necessarily see it that way. She believes she is a level up. She has defended the title in the past. That is a great source of confidence for her. And she tries to remain the hunted here at 135 pounds. Oh! Her ground and pound is downright scary in constant pursuit of the finish. I get it. Now. She does a physical foul. She was only punch for the kid. She never just throws just to be thrown. Every punch is meant to land and every punch is meant to start a finish. Well, you asked her on Thursday, how soon are you going to shoot? Very early. Nice job getting the fight to the ground here in the early game. Sometimes taking that shot too early can find you. You can find yourself like Ben Askren. But she knew that she held a huge advantage. She implemented exactly what she wanted to do. And now she finds herself in a dominant top control position. Ben Askren not going to be too happy if he plays EA Sports UFC 4. He won't be happy with his boy. <laughs> Getting the ground and pound going pretty good here early. Oh, look at her. She's like J. Rue the damager out here. Just chucking elbows. She is brutal trying to rip her opponent apart with those elbows. Oh, keep it busy here off of her back. Nice offense from the bottom. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Nunes. Oh, nice strike on the ground for him. Oh, that's a beautiful escape and reversal by her there. Unbelievable sweep. She did a fantastic job of manipulating the weight, change of position. All right, full guard now, DC. She's on the bottom. What is she trying to do? This is a terrible position. Wow, there is just a viciousness with which she operates here on the ground as she continues to get the ground and pound game going. She might get a finish here. Looking for a finish. Nicely done. Now connects with a right. Oh, and with conviction, she moves right into half guard. Without much effort, she was able to pass with her full guard right into half guard. Oh, and with conviction, she moves right into half guard. Without much effort, she was able to pass with her full guard right into half guard. Oh, her ground and pound is on point here. She's made this a focus going in to make these strikes count. Certainly doing that tonight. She's making each and every one of them count. Doing a very, very good job of landing shots, landing them in combination, and making them all matter. Well, you got to stay busy from the bottom position. Can't there it is. Good ground and pound by her here. She felt like she could finish the fight with her ground strikes tonight and might be well on her way here. I mean, John, I believe it after watching the ground and pound issue. Oh, man, that was slick. Get up, get up now. Get up. Back to the feet now. 70 total strikes have landed for the Lioness Amanda Oh, man. You can never know what you know.
gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. Absolutely flush on the land, and I'm not even sure her opponent saw it coming, so sometimes it's the strike you don't see coming that spells your fate, and ultimately it goes in the books as a big knockout win for her here tonight. Well, that knockout win is useful for the UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World. She lit up this arena here tonight, and you can be sure the celebration is on and will continue deep into the night. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 27 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. So she will head home the way she arrived as the undisputed UFC Bantamweight champion as she gets it done by knockout here tonight. She was so dismissive of this challenger, and maybe with this result you see as to what. I mean, when you start to put so many title defenses together, you start to see that. But don't think for a second she does not prepare herself as she did when she was just a challenger also. She is a phenomenal fighter. She is a champion in every form of the word and she's gonna continue to reign atop this division for as long as she possibly can. submissions today. Let's take it slow. 
No need to rush the submission. Let's focus on technique. up for the UFC Women's Bantamweight Division title. Well, this is a belt that has changed hands quite a bit, and this number one Bantamweight contender believes it will again here tonight as she makes the walk for this title fight. She believes this title shot should have come earlier. She's not caught up in all that now, hasn't been during fight week. She's focused on the champion, and you see her staring her down right now. Crowd going crazy. She believes she is the best Bantamweight in the world and believes in a matter of moments here, she will be the new champion.
So here she is, the undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion. How about the confidence as she makes the walk here tonight? She wants to get in there, take care of business, and go eat some buffalo wings in the back. She's been the best 135er in the world now for some time. Another title defense, what's in front of her? She doesn't try to make the moment too big. And even though the challenger has a lot of momentum here tonight, she knows she's the hunted for a reason and is looking to prove that she is still the best in the world at 135. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, now to get us started, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a boxer, holding a professional record of 15 wins, three losses. She stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Glendale, Arizona, USA, presenting the Challenger International. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, no losses. She stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World, Amanda the Lioness New. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, so here we go with round one of this UFC Women's Bantamweight Championship fight. This is the fight that fans really wanted to see. The consensus top two 135ers in the world. The champion doesn't necessarily see it that way. She believes she is a level up. She has defended the title in the past. That is a great source of confidence for her as she tries to remain the hunted here at 135 pounds. Gets the elbow up into the target. Oh, nice elbow there from the top position. I'm surprised that one didn't open her up. Elbow's landing now. Well, if you read her fighter bio, you know she loves the elbows, and that has certainly been one of her weapons of choice tonight. She loves it because it's so brutal. She really wants to damage her opponents, and tonight she's doing exactly that. Lands an elbow there. Oh, her ground and pound is on point here. She's made this a focus going in to make these strikes count. Certainly doing that tonight. She's making each and every one of them count. Doing a very, very good job of landing shots, landing them in combination, and making them all matter. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It, it's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she's been a lifetime developing the skill with the way that she's able to move with so little effort on the mat. Man, she's got some good ground and pound and putting that part of her game to good use tonight. She's putting it to great use, just really damaging from the top position. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, nice job by her to posture up there. Now we'll see if she can maintain that separation. 
she has to recognize that her opponent will start trying to squirrel away now, but look for her big ground and pound. Under three minutes remain in round one. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Well, her opponent is squirming, and this might be the beginning of the end. The ground and pound strikes continue to land at will. She's landing him over and over again. She needs to make sure that when she's chasing the finish, she doesn't get excited and lose the position. Well, maybe some panic setting in for her opponent as she continues to land with the ground and pound. She cannot deal with the pressure of the top fighter. She's so good at finding her strikes. Nunez is trying for a submission here. And attacking Orbar. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Now she's in trouble. That is some opportunistic grappling right there. And nice finishing instincts as well. You see a lot of fighters get the dominant position, but aren't necessarily able to lock up the choke or force the tap. No problem with her as she gets one of the bigger wins of her UFC career. All right, let's check out some of the action in that previous round. DC, she certainly kept the stat trackers busy with all those takedowns. All those takedowns and some really nice takedowns. She did a great job of level changing, getting into her opponent, not allowing her opponent to defend before she can secure her takedown. So there she is as the celebration continues in the corner. The queen of the 135ers, the UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion. Your winner tonight by way of submission. What a way to get the job done and leave with the UFC goal. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop to this contest at three minutes, 18 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by submission due to an arm bar. And still the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Amanda Lioness of the Ring, Newman. So after an emphatic submission win here tonight, she remains the UFC women's bantamweight champion. A lot of people thought this was a qualified, credentialed number one contender, and she was, but she proved no match for the champion here tonight, and the celebration is on. Hard to blame them after this result here tonight. Congratulations to the, and still, UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World.